So, obviously, new news. Mike Commissaric rank number four cutest male athlete. There is a poll here with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Where do you think he would rank? Where would I rank? Uh, <laughs> I think pretty high. And I don't, like, if you put the camera on him right now, I don't get it. Uh, he obviously has a good publicist. Somebody that's working the angles. Um, I don't have one of those guys. He probably pays them quite a bit of his salary, you know, 15, 20% or something like that. So good for him for getting in there because some people might not know that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if it was a poll on, on the team, I'd say I'd be slightly ahead of middle of the pack. I have a broken nose. That might bring me down a little bit. But, I mean, that adds character, obviously. Yeah, that's true. A lot of girls like character, so. And Dion obviously ranked... Um, not in a poll that he wanted to be. Where do you think he would rank in the team best look poll? Where would Dion rank? So you want would he be you ahead to, of you or behind you? You want me to tell you if I think Dion's good looking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's a good looking guy. I don't know. I'm not going to rank him, okay. but uh, he's a decent looking guy. So if there was a poll going on in this locker room for the cutest Maple Leaf, let's say, where do you think you guys would rank? Me and Alls over here? Yeah. Price. I'm good from far, but far from good. I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably close to the bottom. I think I'd be somewhere in like the bottom three quarters, which is respectable. Yeah. Depends if I have my teeth in or out too. Right. Nice. So that's that's the within is the bottom half, out is the upper half. Kind of the deciding factor, yeah. Yes. Um, I don't know where I would rank, but uh, yeah, Como's a good-looking guy. Uh, John Michael Wells, a good-looking guy who just filled through. Um, you know, we have a few, uh, few guys, I guess, who could, who could maybe, uh, you know, fill that void in that magazine. Whoever did the poll, but yeah, I mean, we're all pretty shocked, I guess. Uh, you know, Commissaric. I'm sure if you guys saw, he, he threw out the tweet. Um, you know, the, the 10th overrated and uh, you know, fourth best looking in pro sport. So I think it's a, uh, it's a good way to weigh each other out. Are you guys going to start calling him Brad Pitt around the dressing room, or is it just going to, is Brad Pitt going to uh, be called Mike Commissaric now? How, yeah, how's that going to work? I don't know, but even to be, you know, involved in the same sentence as, as David Beckham in the same <laughs> poll, they, you know, you're doing something right. So. Uh, you no know, good for him, and you know I'm sure there's a lot of guys who could, uh, you know, not only on our team but throughout the league who could probably fill that. But uh, you know, actually we were bugging Mike that, you know, he's got to tip his publicist. She did a good job for him getting him in there, even though he doesn't have one. But we were joking around like that with him. Joey Crab and Jay Rosehill rank themselves in the lower half of the team. Do you think you'd be ahead of them in this poll, or do you think you'd be kind of in in the same area? Everybody's a little bit humble here, I find. Yeah, no, I think I give more crap, especially Rosie. He has his way, and uh, you know, but. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do any ranking here. Uh, I'll, I'll stay out of it this one.